Hi, my name is Alan Dutre. As you know, Microsoft is one of Gemalto's strategic partners. And in this short video, we're going to have a look at how Microsoft's Outlook email product can take advantage of the extra security provided by the Prativa range of products. Before we dive into the demonstration, let's have a quick look at the Proteva range of strong authentication products. One of the key strengths of Proteva is the range of form factors available. In the first row you can see the .NET card, either in its standard edition or with biometric functionality added, which is called the .NET BIO. Whenever there is a card, there is a reader. And at the bottom of the screen we can see a selection of readers, whether they be PCM CIA reader for a laptop, a reader for a card of SIM size uh, plug-in or a standard USB connected external reader. Finally, we have a couple of tokens which contain .NET cards. The .NET Dual, a token which can be used in both connected and unconnected mode, and the Smart Enterprise Guardian, which offers secure flash memory in addition to strong authentication using PKI and one-time passwords. So let's turn to email security and digital signatures. So using a secret code, which we can call a private key, which is unique to you and stored in your Gemato smart card, you can create digital signatures which add an extra layer of security to your email exchanges. Every time you sign a mail with your smart card, you will type your PIN code, thus fulfilling the basic requirement of two-factor authentication, something you have, the smart card or token, and something you know, the PIN. Furthermore, your secret code or private key can even be generated by the Gemato smart card token or token itself, meaning that it'll never be exposed to the outside world where it may be maliciously copied. Signatures generated in the above way are secure, cannot be repudiated, and therefore can be relied upon by the receiving party. Let's turn to email encryption now. Encryption is used when the contents of a message are confidential. In this case, Outlook will encrypt the message with the public key of the message recipient, and only the recipient will be able to decrypt the message, thanks to the private key stored in their smart card. Again, before the uh, user is able to access their private key, they will have to type their PIN code. So the value added of the smart card is to store the decryption key in an absolutely secure environment. So let's have a look at our uh, digital signature scenario now. First of all, we're going to configure Outlook to be able to digitally sign an email. There we click the box, click on OK, and then we're going to create a, a new email. We're going to call it uh, Signed Mail. We write a little bit of piece of text, this is Signed Mail. And then we're going to click on the Send button. At this point, Outlook knows that uh, a smart card needs to be inserted. Click on OK, and then type the PIN for the smart card. Click on OK, and the mail has signed, has gone, and now has arrived in the uh, inbox. Now we can check the signature. There we are. Check the signature is valid get more details about the signature if needed, including the chain of trust. And there we are, we've closed uh, the email. Now we're going to do a similar thing with uh, encrypted email. So we've in clicked on the encrypted box. We're going to create a, a new email again. This time uh, we're going to call it uh, encrypted mail. There we go. This is an encrypted mail, is our little piece of text. And we click on send again. And this time, the mail is going to be encrypted with the public key of the recipient. So there it's arrived in the recipient's um, inbox. And he's going to uh, decrypt it thanks to the uh, smart card uh, which he's now putting in reader, clicks on OK and types in the PIN. And there we are, the mail is decrypted. As before, you can, uh, the user can check the, uh, the chain of confidence and the message properties. 
So that's it for today's um, little video showing how smart cards and tokens can add extra security to Outlook. Be sure to have a look at the other sales tools on this portal. Happy browsing and goodbye for now.